Welcome, welcome to our live this week. I'm so excited to share this with you. I'm going to be sharing the three keys that you need to unlock to grow from 5k months to 10k months consistently, of course. Let me know that you're there. As you can see, I'm Sophie's account today because Facebook has just locked me out. Um, so we'll find out what's going on there. But this is one of the reasons why I recommend when you're growing a business online to have a couple of accounts at <laughs> at the ready in case of some, uh, how Facebook is trying to take care of its community and if it's worried by anything that has been going on and it often does make mistakes i've um, heard many people get locked out and so this is why um, i have a couple of accounts so that we can continue and continue supporting you and serving you in our fabulous community so excited to be here today i can see you are there say hello let me know who is watching and i can give you a shout out so Huge welcome. My name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers and coaches lift their ceilings in their life and business so you can live at your highest potential and have the freedom that you crave. And a huge thank you to everyone who's attending live today or of course if you are catching the replay then so grateful for the time that you've taken to be away from your family, to show up for yourselves and to spend this time with me. So Give me some hearts in the comments to let me know that you're there and how excited you are. Of course, if you're catching the replay, would be looking. I'll look out for your hearts as well. So how many of you are here because you want to scale your business to that six figure mark? How many of you want to do so, but without, without sacrificing your health, without sacrificing your personal time, your family life, all the things that you love to do that are outside of our work. And of course, when we're entrepreneurs, our work is our passion. It's a lifestyle. It's a way of being. It's very much part of ourselves and who we are, isn't it? And how many... So monthly, monthly income revenue contracted income revenue. Let me know where you're at in the comments. Or perhaps you're wanting to grow to that first 5k monthly milestone as your as your first milestone. As we're growing our businesses, we grow and expand along the way, don't we? And we have these different milestones to show ourselves where the progress is being made. And I've seen over the last, I think it's like five years I've been growing my business online too many coaches sacrificing their, their body, their health, their family, their personal time so they can build their business. What we want to create is real freedom. So my intention is to give you the three keys to unlocking consistent growth in your, in your business so that you can grow from 5k months to 10k months and beyond if you choose. Does that sound good? Give me a thumbs up if, if that sounds good. And of course, the reason why I'm so passionate about this is businesses are supposed to make money and their purpose is to support you. One of their purposes is to support you as the business owner as you're making your impact and contributing to the lives of others. So we want to be growing profitable businesses that create freedom, that allow you to have more time for your, for your clients, more time to do the things that you love doing, like going on holiday when we're not in lockdown. Staycations are probably what everyone's up to at the moment to be able to relax and to, and to be. So I'm so excited that you've joined me today. So you're gonna walk away knowing what your initial steps are to grow to, towards your next level, to wherever you're at in business. You'll get some ideas dropping in for that, for that next breakthrough. So what's your intention for joining me live or watching the replay? Pop in the comments and let me know. And if you're watching the replay, please use hashtag prosperity, share your intention with me and I'll be popping back as Sophie until Facebook lets me back into my account. So we might, we'll see what we can do with Sophie's account so that people recognise that it is me showing, showing up. So for those of you that are getting to know me, a little bit about my background. I've developed and reconfigured multi-million pound services for social services over 
over 13 years I worked for them as a senior manager and as part of my portfolio there whilst I was there I led on performance and business planning for over eight years and I now run my own multi six-figure coaching business we've already surpassed six figures this year so we're on track for our multi six-figure year so I know what it takes to build sustainable growth so that you can serve more of your ideal clients that's what it's all about we are here to make a difference, to make a bigger impact, and to create the life of a dream. So we want to be making that difference, but being served well for ourselves as well, so that the business is taking care of us as we take care of the business. My clients hear me talk about it all the time. So it's like a beautiful infinity symbol. Because when we're taken care of and we're able to feel safe and secure and allowing ourselves to go on that, our own expansive journey within our relationship within our business, we're then able to show up 100% for our clients as well. And it is working with our clients is what it's all about. I'm so blessed to work with the most amazing clients. So if you're a client of mine, give me a high five, say hello. I just love working with you. So, so grateful for you and our relationship and that I get to contribute to you. So let, let us know if you're watching which program you're in, whether you're working with me one-to-one -one in Infinite Prosperity Collective, on Passion Life, the Wealth Portal, or the Cash It Record Intensives, and then I can come back and say hi. And then on a personal level, I grew up in London in the UK, so let me know where you're tuning in from. Where in the world are you tuning in from today? I can see a few more of you jumping on, which is wonderful. So a huge welcome. And on a, on a personal level, I'm a single mum. I've got two now grown up sons, Alf and Mo, who are 23 and 20. And we have two cats, Batman and Robin, and we live near Brighton in the UK. And for me, I'm continuously learning and growing. I love to study and to develop my skills. And so I'm a lifelong learner. I'm sure many of you are here as well. So I've got a psychology degree, a postgraduate in counselling, part one of an MBA, an EAM mentor, master of cash record consultant and teacher, advanced pranic healer, and certified coach. And I continuously invest with loads of personal development courses, business and marketing courses, working with some of the best leaders in marketing and copywriting and business strategies so that, so that I can show up as my best self for, for both me and for my clients. And I always live in the energy of the question of, how can I help my clients get better and better results? And then I take the aligned action on the downloads and the inspiration that I get. So for me, my personal reason for running a business was I wanted to escape the corporate rat race, where I was working all the hours, never being able to increase my pay, with all the restructures that were going on. It was just cra crazy from that perspective. And the pattern was basically was more work no pay increase that's what they were rocking with hi jackie jackie is in edinburgh and is currently in the wealth portal so excited we got our call today which will be wonderful so thank you for joining me here jackie so yes yeah, so i was doing the transition out of corporate because the system just wasn't working for me i wasn't seeing my sons they live with me, they don't see their dad at all and haven't for years. And so I was feeling exhausted and unfulfilled because it just felt like this this work, work rat race. Has anyone else felt like that? If you've done that corporate lifestyle, you this may resonate for you. So for me, I wanted to have a better lifestyle for my sons, to be able to travel more, afford all the things I wanted, and, and most importantly, to be a role model to them, to, to show them to take a chance on yourself to back yourself, to grow and improve, to have the courage, because it takes courage to step out of your comfort zone and to grow and learn and to ultimately make it happen. And I've now worked with thousands of clients over, over 10 countries, I think it is now. So I'm so excited to share with you what I've learned. So let's have some fun today. I invite you to share and ask any questions, pop them in the comments and I will answer them live if we're if they come through while we're on live. Or of course I will pop back and um, answer them. Probably looking like it's Sophie Mason. <laughs> we'll see if we can change her name until I get my account back. <laughs> the joys of tech, hey? So if you... Only uh, operating and running your business online with Facebook, I highly recommend you get a backup account like this so you can use it when Facebook locks you out. So 
so you can keep the keep the show going on so let me know if you are excited and committed to learning and taking action so that you can grow your business to the next level pop in the comments i am <laughs> and uh, we will go from there because i know you're going to get immense value today and if you've heard me talk about some of these things before it's recognizing so what's the nugget that's come in that has landed in a slightly different way that it's you're now ready to do and take action on so my intention is to give you the three keys to unlocking growing from 5k months to 10k months you can identify where you can move the needle forward in your business. Hi, Sunita. So I want you to know the framework so that you can grow a profitable coaching business. Get off the entrepreneurial ham hamster wheel of feast and famine and be in alignment with the consciousness of your business and how you can start to think about, okay, so what is the skill that I need to develop this month to move the needle in my business forward? And if you are a therapist, a coach, a healer, creative entrepreneur i know you want to make a big difference to people's lives and to have that peace of mind and security that comes with having a profitable six-figure coaching business so please know that you can have it steph is saying yes <laughs> definitely so ready i love it and of course if you're growing beyond six figures so you've already gone towards six figures or thereabouts know that it is safe to allow more in so i just invite you to breathe that in because one of the biggest things I hear from people is that it feels suddenly feels unsafe, like everything that they work for is going to be taken away from them. And that's very common, so very normal. If you've got to that point in your business growth and you've started to notice the monkey mind, the ego mind changing tact with how to try and keep you safe by creating these illusions, it's suddenly all gonna all gonna vanish. You can have it all, you can allow yourself to receive it all. And of course, when we're in that energetic vibration of that, we take the aligned action. We allow ourselves to take the action on the downloads that we've got coming in. And of course, everyone's journey is so different. You know, the skills that you don't have yet, of course, you can learn and it will take time to learn and you'll get better and better and better. It's a bit like driving. You're know, just using that analogy because Moses has come back from his second batch of driving lessons. And of course, he, he used, he's doing an intensive, so he did five hours yesterday, I think five hours today, I think that's right. And he's so more, much more confident already after today um, and recognising how he's grown from yesterday. Well, of course, he hadn't even got in a car before yesterday, bar about, you know, a couple of road trips with me where we decided actually it was probably best to be taught by a professional <laughs> rather than me trying to teach him. But we learn and grow, don't we, from learning the skills and then practicing and practicing and getting better and better and better. So I want you to know that we are in a field of infinite possibilities. And so if it's in your heart's desire, then it is time for you to start the journey to making it happen. Or to know that if it hasn't yet happened, you are still on, you're on the journey. This is what your learning path is. This is where you're taking your driving lessons and you're practicing so that you can get better and better. Does that make sense? Love the sun, sunshine, Jackie. That's awesome. So I know that there's also many new people to our group, so big welcome to you. And wherever you are in your business journey, whether you've just started or you're on your way to six figures or you're on your way to multi six figures and seven figures, because we face different challenges, different areas of development, opportunities for growth that at each step of our entrepreneurial journey. So thinking about where you are in business right now, I invite you to consider, so what's your biggest priority for your business right now? If you pop it in the comments, that would be really helpful so I know where you're at. Or what would the area of development for you, how would you describe that? What feedback are you getting from your community? So pop in the comments below to let me know where you're at. So what's your biggest priority right now in your business? So is it creating a new program? developing a program, welcoming, have you got capacity for more clients? Let me know where you're at with that. If it feels like you haven't yet grown through to the 10K figure months and beyond, then I invite you to use these three keys to take you from that 5K months to the 10K months consistently and beyond. And if you think it's not possible, I just want to share with you why I know it is. And I also will give you a little bit about my story so you know why 
why I know what I'm talking about. So you may or may not know, but I left my senior management role in social services in 2016. Spent the first six months of my business completely out of flow, spending lots of money on things I didn't need at the time, but just, and not having a clue why I wasn't attracting any clients. And I was trying my best, but just not making an impact. And I thought I was working really, really hard, but my energy was going in all the wrong, the wrong direction. And I, and I know it's because I didn't have the right strategy in place and I was trying to piece it all together because I knew how to develop services rather than following a proven system that was just already there that I could pick up and a method for success and rock and roll with it and then make it my own from that perspective. And because I was doing something new, of course, and something new in a space where I had gone from employment to self-employment, kicked up all my fears and self-doubts, massive resistance in my energy, and huge fears being created as my identity completely changed, which is why I'm so passionate about working on your identity. You've got to get your identity in alignment with where you want to go, because that is going to carry you energetically. So of course, the longer I left it in the sense of allowing myself to stay out of flow, the stakes were getting higher and higher. And I, so I knew I had to go all in and to stop playing around in my coaching business. Although at the point I wouldn't have said I was playing around. I thought I was fully, fully all in. But I needed to actually launch it properly, take myself seriously, follow a system that worked so that I could reach people that I'm here to serve and I want to work with. So I invested in my first hire mentor and then only weeks later I had my first clients. So I went from nothing to this idea to selling one-to-one -one packages and then to be able to offer transformational results with my high-end premium coaching program. So you know that learning curve where we all start off unconsciously incompetent. We don't know what we don't know. And then we move through to the conscious incompetence where we realise we don't know what we don't know and we are more open to having some support and guidance because we want to get there more quickly. And then with the mentoring in place, that's where I became consciously competent. And I know, of course, we're all learning and growing all the time. I'm always learning and growing. And the profession is adapting and changing. Marketing is adapting and changing. And we need to grow with that too. You know, it's all about... It was at the time when I first started growing online about business pages on Facebook. When I started, it was all about evergreen webinars and click funnels. And, and now it's all about groups, your personal profile. If you're building on Facebook, the different platforms have different uh, nuances. But the key thing is our skill development around all the different aspects in life. So, for example, I can see that Jackie's saying yeah, being visible. Steph's saying the feedback I'm getting is you're not getting the clients coming in. Okie dokie. So we've got two. That's really helpful to see. Okay. To, to recognise that is feedback is to think about, okay, so that's the area that if I focus on that and make that a priority about being more visible and considering about how I can grow my audience this month, the action I'm going to take, move the needle forward in my business by even 1% because those 1% build up incrementally over time. Does that make sense, Steph and Jackie? So we're going to dive into this. So for me, the key thing I'd say is, of course, is there's so many strategies out there and they all work when you're in alignment with them and when you've mastered your messaging and you're speaking to the right client. So a brain tattoo, if you like to remember, is right offer or right invitation, the right client at the right time. And having been self-employed now for, it's just five years, but created a multi-six-figure coaching business that I am completely in alignment with and serves both me and my clients, I know it can be simple when you have the guidance and support and the right strategy in place. And when you can apply these principles over and over again, the key thing is you want to feel in alignment with how you're showing up. And then notice where the resistance is bubbling up because... So often we, we avoid the resistance and go the other way. The resistance is showing where you need to go. The resistance is there because the subconscious is going, oh, crikey, if she goes down that route, we, we may well expand and grow into the next version of ourselves. Does that make sense? You have a relationship with your business. So your business has its own consciousness. So we want to support our business by creating it with the right foundation so that our businesses can support us. So let's talk about these 
three keys to unlock and grow from 5k months to 10k months to get you started. Steph's saying it makes sense. I'm at the stage where I think it's all in place and obviously I'm missing something. So let's reframe that, Steph. How about it? the foundations are in place and you're growing from this place? So you're moving the needle forward as you're growing to start to attract more clients. Does that make sense? So that it's a place of not being from I'm wrong, but a, coming at it from a space of being expansive and growing. Steph's yeah, calling herself out, resistance to contacting doctors on LinkedIn directly. That's going to be a game changer. So I would suggest is finding the right messaging where you would feel authentic reaching out to them and not feel weird or spammy because no one wants to feel like that, but something that would you feel in alignment with. Okay, so let's dive in. So the three keys are, the first one is, these are write it down as your menu of services, a rinse and repeat campaign, growing your audience, and I am gonna give you a fourth one actually, bonus, <laughs> your frequency and vibration so that your energy does the heavy lifting for you. So let's dive into them. So your menu of services. So to grow a successful and sustainable business, you need to develop a menu of services for your ideal client. So you can continue to serve and contribute to your clients as they grow. So the business model that I teach is to have a menu of services that of course you're going to expand over time so that you can continue to work with your favorite clients. And I know many of you here have enjoyed a number of different programs with me. So you can, you'll see how you can replicate this model within your, within your own business as well. So think of this as your simplified business model. So the first level, this is like the entry level for working with you. So typically it may be between four weeks to 12 weeks, maybe around six to eight weeks. That's a really optimum uh, length of time. Pricing is typically between 1,000 and 3,000 pounds. So obviously you can convert that for wherever you are in the world. And deep dive intensives, one-to-ones with you can lead into this first level. Then your second level, this is a longer program working with you. So typically people may come in um, to the first level, love working with you, and it feels like a natural continuation for them to carry on working with you in the longer program. So this is typically between eight to 12 months and the pricing around 8K to, to 15K typically. This is just to give you a, a framework to, to see how you can start to grow and fit your business within this framework. And then the third level, so this is your high level clients where they'll be working one-on-one -on -one with you. Of course, length of programs here could vary. These will include things like VIP days. This is where people have a lot of access to you. So VIP days may be between 1,000 and 5,000 pounds. 12 months container, for example, could be between 12,000 pounds and 20,000 pounds, just to give you an idea. And of course, when you first get started, you start with building out your, you know, your first level. Your first level is most likely going to be working with you one on one because this is where you're going to gather your ideas and inspiration. You're learning for your first group program. Or you could have an initial group program, which is your level one, and that leads to people working directly with you one to one. So that would be your your second level. So you may just start with one level or two levels. So this is about not wanting to try and create everything all in one go because that would create the energy of overwhelm but knowing that you've got this framework that you're going to be growing and developing over time Does that makes sense and this is what will create a sustainable and profitable business a business that is a contribution to your clients lives so as you look at your business model which levels do you have in place do you have a pathway for people to move through so I know most of you here know my different programs that I offer. So it may be helpful to explain where they fit in this framework so you can have something to kind of to visualize it alongside, if that makes sense. So I've got the Akashic Records trainings where I train people to read the Akashic Records and the Wealth Portal. So these are my level one programs that lead into the Infinite Prosperity Collective, which is my level two program. So in the wealth portal, our focus is on the energetic vibration, so your energy does the heavy lifting, combined with some bonuses on aligned actions, so that you're taking the right actions to have that breakthrough in frequency and income. And then in the Infinite Prosperity Collective, 
with the expanded wealth consciousness in place and the fastest, simplest marketing I know of creating five day masterclasses, we help people grow towards and create their first windfalls on demand, as I call it. And then the Akashic Record Certification Program, clients are developing the skill and the expertise to add this as a service to their business or to create a business with the Akashic Records being the service that they offer so they can do it as an addition or even start their business with this with this service. And then the client to develop their entrepreneurship will be wanting to expand their wealth consciousness from that space. And so often people will choose then to come into the wealth portal or they want to go for it and they'll dive into the Infinite Prosperity Collective from the Akashic Record Training. It's a natural next step for both these programs is for them to then step into the Infinite Prosperity Collective. If it's aligned, of course, from both our perspectives. Does that make sense? So I'm just sharing my programs and mapping them across the levels so that you can that you can bring the business model to life for you. So does that help? So just take a moment. What is your next step in your business model? Let's see the comments here. Jackie's reaching out and connecting with new galleries, not reaching new clients on Instagram. You're connecting with galleries, not reaching new clients on Instagram yet. Okay. So is that an action to, to take Jackie or is the preferred route with the new galleries? And how do you build your audience on Instagram? Have you got Instagram, Instagram strategies that you're operating? I haven't been banned for Instagram, so I might go and hang out there. <laughs> so as you're thinking about your business model, what's what's the next step? Is it to create a level one offering? What would that look like in your business? Because I know Jackie's an artist. Thinking about, okay, what would that look like in your business? Or is it to create a level two offering? Or is it to create an additional level one offering? You can have as many as you like. You don't have to have like one, two, three, and that's it. <laughs> You're trying both. Okay, that makes sense. Good plan. So does this framework help you to envision the structure that you can create for your business? So inviting people, what's key to inviting people into a level one program, and I highly recommend this, is my second key, which is having a rinse and repeat campaign. So the best way to help people to get to know you, but you're basically collapsing time and space around people getting to know you, like you, trust you, and to see if that you're in alignment with, you know, their desire, you're able to actually help them, who they want to be, is hosting a rinse and repeat campaign that you can run six times, eight times a year. These So these are three to five day masterclasses or challenges. So I'd love to know who here has been been to mine. Give me a little hand, wa hand wave um, or a me <laughs> if you've been to our masterclasses. So our next one is coming up soon, actually, on the 28th of June. So our Line to Wealth Expansion Masterclass. This is our five-day masterclass that we host a couple of times throughout the year, about six times a year. This is where your community gets to experience what it's like working with you. And they're gifted free coaching for the three to five sessions. And then there is an invitation to work with you. And there's special bonuses and gifts for those that have taken part in the event. So your five day leads them directly into your level one program. So it needs to be a natural continuation of what everyone has been doing in the masterclass. Does that make sense? I love them. They're so fun. So who here has been to one of my masterclasses? I know Jackie and Steph have. Hi, Lisa. Great to have you here, lovely. Hi Sunita, I know Sunita's been to the masterclasses as well. Fabulous. <laughs> okay, awesome. We've had, I was thinking, I think the num the last time I counted it was over 4,000 people, um, but it's probably more, so I probably need to recount the numbers, attend our masterclasses over the last couple of years. Your rinse and repeat campaigns, they become an asset that you can use over and over and you become known for it. It's like a brand, it becomes like a brand in itself. And of course, anyone can host them. And I really invite you to create your first one, run it as your baseline so you have something to work from and to improve. 
And this is something that we dive deep into in the Infinite Prosperity Collective. I give you everything that I use and my coaching on how I host masterclasses that create 50K launches for myself and my clients, what to do when you aren't getting the results that you desire, because there's learning points along the way, learning curves, and all the things so that you can create the impact and make the difference in, in your ideal clients' lives and your community life. And of course, it does take time and development to grow to, grow to this. So you're, everyone comes in with different levels of skills in relation to this. So I think, you know, just to give you an example, the first one that I ran, I welcomed a lovely client who paid me £5,000 for coming into Your Own Passion Life. And then off the back of that, I, take, I took all my learning. I've taken loads of courses as well myself around running them successfully, developed my own methods as I've tweaked and tested and tried things. I've done so many now and obviously coach so many other people to do the same. So I know what works and I bring in the Akashic Record Keepers as well with how I not only create my own five-day masterclasses but also we bring them in for monthly activations in the Infinite Prosperity Collective. And I know now that I, if I have a certain number of people register that likely, roughly, it sort of does vary, but if a cautious rule of thumb from my numbers is 6% would convert and be ready to say yes to themselves, the national average is between 1% to 3% conversion. So I've had ones where 25% of people have converted, but I like to plan cautiously so that you can then be building on from, on from that. So you're not using the spikes as your baseline. You're using, you create an average. And so when you understand your numbers and have systems in place, you can then start to plan ahead and it gives you confidence in knowing what's coming into your, into your business. So of course it's, it's not an exact science, but over time you get to know your numbers get to identify what you need to develop to develop so that you can grow with grow with more ease. Just reading some of the comments. Steph saying I've run the second at five day last week and only had one person, five in the first one. How do I get more feedback? Steph, where are you hosting it? Are you hosting it on your business page or on your Facebook a Facebook group? I would highly recommend doing it in a Facebook group as a starter, but also you need because that way you know how many people you've got registered. You need to know how many you've got registered. And I'd really recommend there's so many things you can do to get up to at least 100 people coming to, to your five days. Steph is saying, if people don't respond to that, I do. What is that comment in relation to? You have to let me know. <laughs> So who wants more ease? And what is the learning from the last five days? If you've run one already, what was your learning from it? And this leads me actually in terms of Steph talking about how many showed up to growing your audience. So wherever you're at in your business, this is something you want to be consistent with, growing your audience. The bigger your audience, the more people you have to invite over and who will say yes. So I invite you to do something daily to growing your audience and bringing in more connections. And the thing is, the work you do now shows up in part in three months time, in six months time, those relationships grow. So this is where I have seen so this certainly for people who are newer in business and perhaps haven't yet got to that 5k um, month consistently, what they may be doing that is seeing they're marketing your things in isolation. So they do a Facebook post, they think no one's liked it. Oh, I failed. I'm not gonna show up for another two weeks. You need to look at everything, just being consistent and not looking at everything in isolation from that level. But of course, if you have a Facebook post and you're running all the strategies you can to, to boost that Facebook post and you get lots of likes and comments on it, then you know that, that the engagement there shows you that people love that post. So that's feedback to do more posts like that. but recognizing that some people won't even bother liking your post, but they are watching and seeing. And then when you come with a call to action a couple of weeks time after they've been loving all your content and t turning up for your Facebook Lives or your uh, masterclasses, whatever it is that you're, you're, you're running at that time, when you invite them to work with you and if it's the right time that they will say yes. Let's 
see what we've got. Okay, so that's saying I feel that my message is off. I love the class, but not reaching clients. The first one converted 20%. That's awesome. And how many, so how, do you know how many people registered, Steph? Because that can be key as well. And the reason why this is so important to be growing our audiences all the time is, and this, and how you can do it is through many different ways, joint ventures, podcasting, guest experting in Facebook groups, networking online, chatting to people in DMs, having 10 minute connect calls. When we're growing our audience, we're investing time and money. Money if you're doing paid marketing or time if you're doing organic marketing. So this is so important because people will have different points of awareness of needing your services and at different points of readiness to, to work with you. So your marketing choices need to help people move along towards working with you, which means we need to, we just can be ourselves, get to know people, love on them for where they're at, and then when they identify their need and if they're ready and if it's aligned, they'll reach out to you. So I like to think of it like people, some people are in the slow lane of traffic, if you like, the middle lane of traffic and the fast lane of traffic. So people in the slow lane may be in that phase of just trying to understand their problem. They might not even be sure about the nature of their problem. They might feel some pain, if you like, but they don't really understand why they're experiencing that. So they're not ready to necessarily buy from you and to step into a program with you. People in the middle lane, they know that there's a pain or a problem. They've, they're at that place of, right, I've accepted the fact, I now want to change it, and I need a system or a process to help me understand that I need to go from here, from where I am, where I'm not happy, to actually this is the way forward and this is where I want to be. Make sense? So this is where you can come in and say, this is my process, this is my method, and show them what life will look like through your free content and your marketing about what, what it will look like when they work with you. And then when you, you need to give them something to buy into, but also give them a reason to buy into you as, as the expert and leader in your, in your niche. So there is a difference in the messaging that you need to speak to people at different points in their journey. So people who are in the fast lane, they're like, I know you've, I know that it's a solution. I believe in it enough. I believe in you enough and, and um, I'm ready to invest in myself. So they say yes, because they're, they're ready. They're in the fast lane. They want the, they're ready to spend their energy, their time, their money to be able to do this. And this is the thing. Remember that only 3% of your audience is actually in the fast lane and committed to solving their problem. So our free content, our offerings, our social media posts, the podcasts, the Facebook lives need to speak to people in all three lanes to bring more of those over from the middle lane to the fast lane. Does this make sense? So when you have tiny numbers, just thinking of Steph's example there, showing up for your masterclass, it's just not enough people, Steph. They could have all been in the slow lane. That makes sense. So this is where we really want to, I would recommend focusing on growing your audience so you can get at least 100 people showing up for your next masterclass. And that will give you a really good baseline to, to, to work with. Let's just see these comments here. Jackie's saying, not sure how to make the same connection with paintings rather than people. I mean, in terms of the five day masterclasses, I've seen people with all different services offering them. So there's always a way, if you feel like this could be a way that you want to sell your paintings, you could completely do that and package them up in uh, different offerings. Do you offer any art classes or anything like that, Jackie? Just popped into my head, so I thought I'd ask you. <laughs> Steph, I also have the feeling that I should run it on LinkedIn in a group and live on YouTube, leave Facebook, and of course I doubt if that is the right decision. Oh, LinkedIn's got LinkedIn Live now as well, hasn't it? So the beauty of the masterclasses as well is it's a pop-up coaching container you want it to be in a container I would recommend where you also take down the content after you've completed it so that people have a reason to show up and take action because if they think 
how many times you thought, oh, I'll watch that later, I'll put that in my to-do later box, and then they never watch it. So by providing the container like that, you're giving them a reason to, to show up for themselves. And yeah, you could run it on LinkedIn, YouTube. Where is your ideal client? Steph, that would be the one. And then with all of these things is think of it as rather than it's going to be the right or wrong decision, but as testing it, I'm going to test how it goes. I'm going to be curious how this goes. Do I prefer running it on LinkedIn? Do I prefer running it on Facebook? Okay, so Jackie's saying used to, but moved away from classes and mentoring now. Nice. So you're focusing on the, the art. Beautiful. If anyone hasn't seen Jackie's artwork yet, you've got to go and check it out. It's absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay, so the fourth key, this is the bonus key, is your wealth consciousness and your, your leadership. I've invested hundreds of thousands of pounds into myself and my business to learn everything that I've learned to date so that I can grow myself and my business and my clients, help my clients get the results that they desire. And I remember when my, my first business coaching program I invested in was, it was 6K for four months. And they, I remember them asking me on the form uh, what I wanted to earn. And I remember putting down 10K a month and wondering if it was really possible. And then I remember that first time that hit it, it just felt amazing. And I was completely in flow, fully aligned with all the actions I was taking. I was attracting my ideal clients who I could serve. It was so uplifting and rewarding to be able to be in that space of all the work that I'd put in. Everything had started to, to click into place. I've learned so much on the journey of getting there, both from a business strategy perspective and also from a wealth consciousness perspective. So it is a combination of developing your skill set in business and your energy alignment. So where would you say is the area that you need to develop? What's your focus? Pop in the comments. You want your energy to be aligned to receiving. So when you're opening up that next income level, you're not blocking it. It feels amazing. You're doing what you love. You're receiving good money for it. You can earn 5,000 a month, 10,000 a month, 15,000 a month, 50,000 a month. You can have 50,000 pound day, uh, paydays if you choose or more. Infinite prosperity, infinite potential. So let us know, how did it feel when you had your first breakthrough payday or week? Whatever that was, it could be a 10K week, it could be a 5K week, 500 pound payday, whatever it may be, it's really important to celebrate every step along the way. Sometimes people can be so in the space of, I want to get there, nothing else is going to do along the way. But celebration energy creates more things to celebrate. Mirrors and magnets. I remember my first 50k month. Can you allow yourself to hold that frequency of allowing that in? so that you don't contract back. Just pausing here so you can kind of feel like what that feels like. And you, you can do this when you're energetically aligned with bringing in that income and align with the business model and your ideal clients. And of course your business model is gonna grow and expand and change as you grow and expand and you have more support coming in. And then once you start to grow your income beyond where the previous milestones that you set, your wealth consciousness is continually expanding. You start to see beyond what you saw as living your dream was before. Jackie's saying, reach my money goal yesterday. Yes, Jackie. Oh, celebrating you lovely. <laughs> That's so exciting. Congratulations. Yes, yes, yes. You want to stay in the energy of possibilities as you develop and grow your wealth consciousness and your leadership energy because we're always growing and expanding. So opening yourself up to receiving more wealth gives you the tools to create opportunities for others. You're then able to focus on making an impact and creating a greater, greater impact. So your aligned action here is to 
consider how am I developing and nurturing my wealth consciousness and my leadership energy? And this is this is something that we focus on in the Wealth Portal. It's rewiring your frequency. You can allow yourself to come into alignment with the identity of you, of the you that has already created all that you desire in your business. And as you bring yourself into resonance with it, you will receive it. That is law, universal law. And of course, along the way, you may need to develop your sales and marketing skills. The universe is going to bring these opportunities to you as part of your journey of you coming into resonance with that. So how do you want to show up for yourself? How do you want to lead yourself? How are you nurturing your wealth consciousness? Steph, I'm going to circle back to your question in a second. For me, something that we get, this is the gift that we get. We are always growing our leadership and wealth consciousness. This is something that we're always growing throughout our life. We get to continue to do it. Yay! And this is so key because I think um, I was looking at some, reminded of these figures the other day. So the coaching industry we know is on the rise. People are calling out for it. They're recognizing the impact. And the figures were showing me that um, this was from the International Federation of Coaches, and this was from a few years ago, so there may be, may be an update, that the average life coach was earning £27,000 a year, or um, you know, there, thereabouts. And that which whatever survey that they did, whoever they surveyed, they were saying that 92% of coaches were afraid that people will find out about their financial state of their business. 94% of them are two, weeks from, two to four weeks from closing down their business. 60% of them actually are holding a side job to you know, make ends meet, and 87% of coaches are earning less than they would in a job. These are terrible stats. We need to change this. This is really key because every coach, healer, therapist is helping to raise the consciousness of the planet. Everyone deserves to live abundantly, to have the excitement of growing beyond what they thought was possible. So if you've grown to the 5K mark, do you know what? the 5k monthly mark you are already beyond average in the sense of the, the monthly incomes out there and if you're uh, on your way to the 5k month you are beyond average as well because you aren't settling you know you're growing so I'm celebrating with you and if you've grown to multi six figures you're in the one percent which just blows my mind 200k a year and you're in the top one percent of income earners and of course there's you know beyond that you can get fractions down of the percentage as people's wealth and income grows but as our businesses grow, resistance, the key thing here that I wanted to share is that resistance shows up at every, every level. Yay! Because <laughs> our subconscious is trying to keep us safe and it's so creative. It's quite amazing. So I work with coaches who are growing towards six figures and those beyond and the emotional stickiness pops up every time there is an expansion or we can feel the contraction back after the expansion. It might bubble up around pricing, it might bubble up around new program or creating a rinse and repeat campaign or perhaps if you've onboarded more clients than normal or something might kick up in your private life. Resistance, this is where becoming a master of energy alignment and managing your resistance, using the mirrors and magnets to see what's going on so you can keep yourself moving through and not contract back is key. So this is the gift that you have for your life, is to continue to work on your wealth consciousness. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And so every time, so to expect it, every time we evolve beyond a previous version of ourselves, there's a new layer revealed for healing and letting go. So we can fully embody this, this new frequency, this new wealth consciousness. Okie so Steph's saying, I do not know what I need to develop next right now, and I trust that it will be obvious. Right, this week I'm in alignment by taking three week vacation. Nice, with your family starting Friday. Yes, so Steph, that needs to be your focus, is being. The question you could hand over to the universe is, what do, so it would be a question of, um, what do I need to develop right now, but I want to phrase it in a, in a more empowering way. What do my clients need me to develop right now? Does that make sense? So then you're writing it down, you're just giving it to the universe, then doing all your energy work, and then the ideas and the insights and the hearts are going to come, and then you get to play that, following the bridge of synchronicities. 
so that you can take that aligned action. So exciting, how lovely. Where are you going on holiday? <laughs> With half the world still in lockdown, people will be like, yes, show me the vision of the future that I can still go away and have a vacation somewhere. Okay, so we have covered a lot by giving you four keys <laughs> to unlocking growing from 5K months to 10K months. So having a menu of services, creating a rinse and repeat campaign and growing your audience. And then the fourth bonus one was developing your wealth consciousness. So I'd love to know, so what's been your biggest takeaway and what idea are you going to implement? Let us know in the comments. And of course, if you're watching the replay, let us know for those of you watching the replay in the comments. I know we have a lot of women and men in our community who are ready for the 10K, 20K months and we need the alignment and strategy to get there. So if you are ready and it feels aligned, I'd love to invite you to apply for the Infinite Prosperity Collective. So this is my hand-selected group of coaches, healers, mentors who are ready to create windfalls on demand to scale their impact and add five figures a month to their business with easy speed. So our intention is to add 100k plus in revenue as quickly as possible using your energetic frequency and the simplest marketing available and to keep most of that in profit so you'll have a, a business model that's going to take care of you for your personal and professional freedom and then you'll be able to use the assets that you've created time and time again so you can focus on serving your highest level clients and grow to six figures years with confidence and ease so what we're up to in the infinite prosperity collective is where you'll create windfalls on demand so you can choose in terms of whether you're wanting to call in 10K months, 30K months, 50K months, basically any time once you've got your rinse and repeat campaign optimized and working, any time you want to run your rinse and repeat campaign, you know what you'll be calling in. So you'll streamline your business model so you have a system that you can rinse and repeat with confidence and the certainty of welcoming on board your dream clients without spending hours on sales calls or complicated funnels. So I'm calling in for Infinite Prosperity Collective coaches, entrepreneurs and healers who are already in business and are at that 3K to 8K months and wanting to grow to more. And I'm calling in high achievers who are established self-leaders with history of developing services and leading teams. So if, you're, if this is you and you're feeling called to work together and this is speaking to you, then pop me a message saying you'd like to chat about Infinite Prosperity Collective and we will take it from there. I hope that this has served you. Oh, Steph, you're off to Utah, rock climbing and hiking. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. Thank you everyone for joining me today. And of course, for those of you watching the replay, let me know that you're here. Say hashtag Infinite Prosperity Collective and I can come back and say hello and I will um, answer any questions that pop up for you. Have a wonderful rest of the day, everybody. Sending you lots and lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.